Most with the least. Literacy Council of Seattle. At age 12, Anna Kovacevic moved to Utah after fleeing what was then Yugoslavia. She knew no English, but was placed in a typical sixth grade class anyway. Today in her job as program manager of the Literacy Council of Seattle, that's the type of disorienting experience Anna sees all too often. The council operates with only one part-time paid staff member, Kovacevic. Today, one in 10 adults in Washington State is not functionally literate, and the council is serving more students than ever. But the $40,000 annual budget hasn't grown with the need. Printer cartridges are in short supply. Computer software dates from the early 90s, and yet tutoring remains free. And last year, the organization reached close to 400 students, thanks to some 10,000 hours put in by volunteer tutors. The council started in 1969 in a founder's basement. Today it's run out of a rented church basement in Crown Hill, and the students are almost all refugees or immigrants. For them, everyday activities, like navigating bus schedules or signing a lease, pose daunting challenges. As volunteers like to say, literacy affects everything. <laughs>